company, and this is The Dreaming Show. In today's show, we are going to talk about how to overcome anxiety and live a better life. My awesome guest is Andrew Priers from Anxiety Free Living. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Good. Thanks, Gabby. How are you? Really good. Thank you for being here once again. No worries. Thank you for having me on the show. Welcome. Last episode, we've been talking about how you overcame anxiety. Mm -hmm. It's a huge topic. Could you tell us, please, what is a panic attack? So a panic attack is a intense experience of anxiety, an acute experience of anxiety. So it's, it's short and sharp, where it's very overwhelming sense of fear. Um, the, the heart will be racing, <coughs> pounding heavily, dizziness, the sweats, and those racing thoughts. And the belief that something, that the worst case scenario is going to happen. So the anxiety attack is a very intense uh, experience of anxiety. How long does it last this episode? It, it can get up to around two minutes, minute and a half, and that would be the, the, like the, the longest more and more extreme case of a panic attack. Uh, but otherwise, it's around 30 seconds, 45 seconds, something like that. Mm -hmm. What do you suggest people can do at that moment when they are feeling the panic at attack? So in that moment, feeling the panic attack, um, get yourself out of the situation that you're in. That's one thing that you can do. How come? Because when you're experiencing that panic attack, your level of awareness around what it is that you're fearful of is very low. In fact, what it is that you're fearful of would be unconscious to you. So remaining in that place would continue to feed that fear and that anxiety. So the reason to take yourself out of it is so that you can calm down and then from a, a calm place logically take a look at, assess and analyze uh, what triggered the anxiety mm -hmm. and what thoughts and beliefs that you were buying into. Mm, interesting. Last episode you talk about the law of attraction. Mm. Could you tell us, please, how people out there can use the law of attraction to feel different, to feel better? So you can use the law of attraction to start bringing experiences into your life for you to say yes to and to overcome and to grow as a person. Mm -hmm. Also, the way that you consciously manifest or attract is by speaking to yourself in a positive manner and bringing your body emotions and experience to that of the future event that you want to experience. So if you want to experience more love, joy and happiness or excitement, uh, if you want to be in a new reality, if it's with a new job or a new partner, you need to raise your vibration to match that of what you want to experience in because your body's energy and emotion is the magnet that will bring that into your reality. So by doing that, you you speak to yourself as in how you'd be feeling then and you trust that it will come in. So by speaking to yourself in that positive way and putting yourself in that positive state, not only are you feeling better in the now, but you are also consciously attracting an event that you want to experience into your reality. Also using the physiology. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're very, very important. What do you say to people that are watching to us to use that law of attraction? In a in daily basis. In, in terms of what you're wanting to achieve. Yes, achieve to grow as a person, to change mindset, to be positive. So, to to use the law of attraction, as I mentioned, you need to consciously start being the person that has the results that you want to have in your life, and it's very important to take action. Unfortunately, yeah. we can't just sit on the couch and manifest as as nice it would be. You need to be the person that has those results. You need to take that action. Yeah. And be grateful for a future event. And there's so much trust that comes in with using the law of attraction. It's trusting that the universe will provide. It's understanding how it all works on the energetic level and the, the quantum physics of it as well. And, and I'll say it again, trusting that it will come into your reality. Now, when you trust that something will come in, in this moment of now, you can choose to feel and be in whatever state it is that you want to be in. Whereas if you are fearful and doubting that something will come in, 
it's, it's, it's very hard to feel good about something because you're coming from that place of fear and doubt. So with the understanding and the knowledge of how the universe works and then consciously applying and using the law of attraction, day to day, you can put yourself in that place of gratitude, that positive state. Bring in those events and experiences that you want to have which will contribute to your confidence and your certainty and they will also grow you as a person in alignment with what it is that you're wanting to attract. If it's business success, if it's a partner, if it's a new home, if it's a new job, whatever it is, you'll be in alignment with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. We need to believe. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Because sometimes people, they prefer to see and then believe. Yeah. So yeah. we need to believe exactly. to see. Absolutely. People say, I'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Mm -hmm. The law of attraction is the other way around. When you start believing, that will raise your vibration. And when you start believing, that is when what you're wanting to see will come into your reality. Mm. Yeah, and also, Andrew, what you say, taking action. Because we can start thinking, asking to the universe for coming things to us, like business, clients, love. But if you don't take the action, nothing is going to change. No, absolutely. You need... You need to take action. You need to do something about what it is that you want to achieve. And I said in the last episode at the end, if you want to create change, you have to create change. Mm. The way I overcame my anxiety, it wasn't my parents who did it. It wasn't my friends, my job, my external environment. It was me who created the change. And I'm not saying this to pump up my own tires. I'm saying this so that you wake up, step up, and start creating the change that you can create when you take that level of personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What about when people, because I know someone that when this person is talking to another person, he feels confident. However, when he is in a social environment with more than two people, he feels the anxiety in mm. a huge level. Mm. What do you think this person can be start doing or thinking? Start coming from a place of love with himself. Because if you are talking to a friend and you feel comfortable with them, it's because you're comfortable with them. If you then are uncomfortable with others, it's because you're not comfortable within yourself. So social anxiety, at the core of human behavior, it's a lack of self-love and it's a lack of self-trust. So do the personal work, of course. Let go of what's holding you back, expand your awareness, change your beliefs. In that moment, or at least before going into it, Say to yourself, I am good enough, I am loved, and I do belong. And then find evidence to support these beliefs. Your friends and family that love you, your friends and family that you belong to, things that you're good at. Um, and I mean, in life, we are all good enough. And I have this belief, um, whether it's true or not, mm -hmm. that works for me. And it is that you don't need to be anyone other than yourself to mm -hmm. be good enough. Because why would you need to be anyone else than who you are? And why is one person better than the other person? What happens when even you believe in yourself, others outside the society are criticizing you? What would you do? What you remember is, and what you'd, what you'd learn and know if someone told you and brought on board, is that nothing is external, everything is internal. Mm -hmm. So if someone were to be rude to me, it has nothing to do with me and everything to do with them. Because... How people treat other people is a reflection of how they feel about themselves. Yes. And this is such a great thing to remember and have present day awareness with. That if you walk away from an altercation with someone and they were rude or, or put you down, it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. And reminding yourself this is, is a great thing to do. And the more you do it, the more you build your, your muscle around it. And the confidence. And the confidence, the certainty, the love, everything. And also we don't have control on what others think or don't think about us. Just we have control what you think about yourself. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. And be proud of yourself. Whatever you are doing, just be proud of yourself. Absolutely. What would you say to the audience? What strategies? I don't know. What would you say to them, please? In relation to? To be successful with themselves. To be leader of themselves, of their life. Start doing the do. Start putting yourself out there because 
You can fail at something that you don't want to do, so you may as well give a shot at doing something that you love and, and put yourself out there to be seen because what initially comes up is fear of getting it wrong, fear of mistakes, fear of failure. However, there's also a fear of success, of fear of how awesome I can be, of fear of how good things can be. So start doing the do because there's going to be mistakes in life no matter what. There's going to be setbacks in life no matter what. There's going to be rejections in life no matter what. They may as well be setbacks, mistakes and rejections on the path of what you'd love to do and of the person that you truly are. Yeah, because it's life. It's life. And we are human beings. Yeah. We are alive. Pinch. Exactly. We are alive. And then we're, we're not perfect. We are perfectly imperfect and that's the cool thing about it. We are learning on the way. Absolutely. This is life. This is we life. La <laughs> we love life. Thank you very much. And you, could you share your business information, please? Yeah, so the business name is Anxiety Free Living. Mm -hmm. I work one-on-one -on -one with clients over the phone and over Skype if it's international. I run workshops based around my Anxiety Free Formula, which is a seven-part video series that looks deep on the human behavior and insights and thinking behind the scenes of anxiety in seven different areas and how to create change in these areas so you can move forward to that anxiety-free life. That is available at my website, which is www.anxietyfreeliving.com.au and on the website you can receive your free anxiety-free formula, uh, which is seven videos, awesome. ten minutes each, going deep on the insights. Awesome, good information, seven videos, awesome. Thank you, thank you very much, Andrew. I've got a CD, it's about anxiety, a stories of hope and recovery. We are going to give away this one. Please write to Gabby at thedreamingshow.com and tell us, please, why do you need this video. Thank you very much. See you next time. All the best. Gabby Company, Melbourne, Australia. Bye. Show.